example 15 a square prism with side of base 40 mm and axis 65 mm long lies on one of its faces on the HP such that its axis is inclined at 45 degree to VP draw the projections so here we have a square prism of base 40 mm side and axis height 65 mm and it is lying on HP on its faces so as you know a square prism will have four rectangular faces in this question, one of these faces is resting on the horizontal plane. So, uh, this will mean that the square prism will not stand on the HP, but it will lie on the HP. And also it is mentioned that the axis is inclined at 45 degree to VP. So, this is a case where the square prism will be tilted with respect to vertical plane. So, we will see now first how to imagine this. Here you see that the square prism is now vertically standing that means perpendicular to HP but we have to make it first parallel to HP because this is a case where the axis the rectangular face is resting on the horizontal plane so first I will make this square prism horizontal now I am rotating it such that uh, it becomes parallel to HP now we have to place this square prism in the first quadrant that is on the HP but here you need to uh, observe one thing that if I place this in this fashion the axis is becoming perpendicular to VP so the top view will be a straight rectangle and front view will be a square which we have to assume first while drawing but in the given question actually this uh, square prism is making some a the axis of square prism is making some angle with respect to VP so I have to tilt this in this fashion so that it makes some angle with the VP now you see that I am rotating with respect to the vertical plane and in any case of this rotation the axis is remaining parallel to the horizontal plane so now I will just make some angle just I will stop here so uh, this will be your final position of the square prism so from the top you will observe that there will be a rectangle tilted rectangle in the top view so I will remove this plane uh, so that you can easily visualize this uh, rectangle so this will be your final top view and if you view this from the front it will appear to you something like this you see that the square base is being contracted and the rectangular face is also contracted so this is going to be your final front view so we will see now how to draw this so uh, as we have to assume that first it is lying on its face on uh, HP and axis perpendicular to the VP uh, we will get one square on the XY line itself observe that I am drawing this with 2H pencil because this is not your answer we are just assuming that it is perpendicular to the horizontal plane uh, sorry vertical plane and our XY line is here only and as far as the top view is concerned we can take some distance this is 65 mm Drawing the center line will also become important here. The axis line. Now I will start the main answer uh, in which it states that the it is inclined to the vertical plane, which means that I have to tilt this rectangle at an angle which is given as 45 degree so before that first I will draw the axis line 10 20 30 40 45 there you go axis line 45 mm now I have to tilt this uh, with this and 
so I am placing the two centimeter line with uh, aligned with the uh, axis line, and I'm just drawing the 40 mm line here, which is the base and 65 mm line. We are following this. So this completes your top view. Now for the front view, we need to project the points from this uh, to get the required points and just uh, mentioning some points here this is your one two three four which means this will be one dash two dash this will be three dash and four dash this point will be three dash four dash so this is your one dash and two dash here you can observe one is here and one is here in this so after matching you will get one point here two is here and two is also here two three dash and four dash three dash and four dash three four similarly here is four point or else you can mark here also 1 dash, 2 dash, uh, 3 dash, 4 dash, the similar numbers. But if you are viewing from the front, as I have shown earlier, this portion will be visible only, but not this one. So that is the reason we have to darken this rectangle only. and this edge will appear as the dotted line because as viewing from this side from the front view this portion is visible only but not this portion as shown earlier that is why this is coming in the dashed lines and for the dimensioning parts there are just only two dimensions again the 40 mm uh, and the axis height sixty five, and also the angle to which it is inclined to the vertical plane, which is forty five degrees. And this completes our uh, fifth question number, exercise number fifteen. So this is the solution of your example number 15. Here you can observe when the inclination is angle given with respect to the vertical plane. The top view is tilted here with that angle. And this is the front view obtained.